Mr. VAIK Obama, you are a hypocrite. Stop aiding and abating Muslim Islamic JIHEDISM in Nigeria. Barack Obama, stop talking about keeping Nigeria united in the same hypocritical manner as your Fulani Muslim brothers. Honest truth assessment of the prevailing situations in the entire country does not support the unity of an enclave that is so disjointed and being brutalized to a point of total destruction by a mean. Oriti immigrants, nomadic tribe of vandals, the Muslim Fulanis, to the serious disadvantage of the rest who are the indigenous people of the land. You are a Muslim, that is obvious. You have been seeing all the evils of terrorism, banditry, armed headsmen. Several millions of roaming cattle used to destroy farms lands, businesses and leaves generally. In the Middle Belt and the south of Nigeria. Marginalization of indigenous people of Nigeria. Especially the evil people in the SE of Nigeria. Religious bigotry. Tribalism, ethnicity. Kidnapping everywhere E.T. See being imposed on the peace loving. Indigenous people of Nigeria by your fellow Fulani Muslim brothers who are determined to impose Islam on the over 100 million Christians in Nigeria. You have turned a blind eye to all that which is destroying many lives daily. You have not for once spoken against these evil activities by the Fulanis that is the real reason why Nigeria must divide in order that the non-Muslims may have a chance to enjoy the peace and stability. T.Y. People like you all over the world take for granted. When you were in power as the President of the United States of America, you had all the power to assist the Nigerian government at the time headed by President Goodluck Ebele Jonathan in his military operation to defeat Boko Haram. Instead, you helped to stall it. During your African trip, if you love Nigeria so much, Nigeria as the giant of Africa should have been top of the list of countries to visit instead. You visited nearby Ghana, Kenya and South Africa and snubbed Nigeria. If I may ask, what was your reason for not visiting Nigeria at the time? It was even muted at some quarters that it was your way of showing that you hated the level of corruption with impunity that prevailed in the country at the time. You need to be informed that the weight of that today, during the watch of Muhammad Buhari and his despotic regime is still killing Nigerians and indeed far more now than ever before. You want to help install your Muslim brother, Muhammad Buhari in 2015 who is now leading this massive Islamic Jihad with the backing of the Arab, the Islamic world and some Western powers. What have you got to say for yourself, given the abysmal failure this candidate of your choice has become? Furthermore, he has contributed by far more than anyone else to the failure and eventual breakup of Nigeria and that is unquestionably his legacy. If you honestly want Nigeria to remain united, you must start in earnest to challenge your Muslim brothers in power who are responsible and the cause of all the breakdown in law and order, the killings, maiming, kidnappings, terrorism, etc., and consequently the general disaffection all over the country. You must understand that one of your challenges will be to begin to effectively educate your fellow Muslims that Nigeria is never going to be home for all the nomadic Fulani headsmen in Africa. Nigeria is never going to be an Islamic state. 
They are sent by the Muslim Fulanis, the Arab or Muslim world, the Western world and people like you do do otherwise can only lead to war and the eventual breakup of Nigeria.